Welcome to Retainer Designer. Today we learn how to do a baseball theme retainer. So get ready, we're about to knock this out of the park. Oh. For this baseball retainer design, you're going to start with a white base. So just sprinkle and trim a white polymer retainer, but don't pumice it and don't polish it yet. I like to put an extra coat of separator on, both on the model and the back of the white retainer. Uh, that way acrylic doesn't seep underneath the retainer and stick to the tissue side. And get you a pencil. I'm using a mechanical pencil here and this is the reason why you don't pumice or polish it yet because you can't draw on a polished retainer very well so keep it in a matte finish so right before pumice and you'll be able to draw really well. So I had to look up on Google what the pattern of these little chevrons are so I, I draw the line of the main stitch uh, and then I draw these little directional patterns these uh, chevrons excuse me and uh, that's what gives you the stitch design. You actually see that I uh, did the chevron the wrong direction that first one. So uh, after reviewing the picture, I realized these these uh, stitches actually go in opposite directions on a baseball if you look closely. So another reason why I use a pencil is you can erase your mistakes. Burr selection. This is, uh, I like to use this half round burr for this particular design, um, uh, but you can use anything that's small enough to grind out the tracings that you put on the retainer. All right, then you just take your hand piece and with the round burr and just slowly start grinding through the layers. Take your time and uh, and make sure you go deep enough. Now I like using the round burr because I can actually make sure I go deep enough because you don't want any shallow areas because when you, when you go to grind the uh, top layer of this red off, you'll see later, um, if you have any shallow areas, you'll have a white spark part in your stitch and it doesn't look good. So make sure it's evenly deep, same depth. Also, you do not want to poke through the retainer to the other side. Uh, because when you pour the acrylic all it will do is just leak through that hole in the bottom and get all over the inside of your retainer so like I said take your time go deep enough to where you get a good rich color from the inlay acrylic you're gonna put in there but uh, not deep enough that you go through the underside if you do go through the underside you can put just a tad bit of wax to fill up the hole Here's a tip, if you find it hard to see your, where you've trenched the acrylic uh, and you want to make sure that uh, you've got all of the lines tr trenched out and you didn't miss anything and your lines aren't jagged, just take a colored pencil and do a little tracing or sketching on there uh, which will outline your trim marks and you can see them better. Okay, red stitches time. I like to use Candy Apple Red Polymer from JBC. I think it gives a good, nice, rich uh, red color, good contrast for this white. Uh, but first things first, I'm going to use this clear monomer and spray it in the inlay trenches that I just uh, ground out. Uh, that way, when I sprinkle the polymer in, it will reduce the risk of uh, air bubbles and polymer pockets in the retainer. Because uh, there would be a chance that you put polymer down and then put monomer on top, you won't you'll have a problem of uh, getting acrylic into all the nooks and crannies that you just ground in there. You'll notice I'm using uh, tinted, uh, pink tinted monomer. I think that's going to give it just that little extra boost of red, that good contrast, instead of using clear monomer. I'm not, you could use red monomer if you want. Uh, I just don't want to take the risk of it staining the underside if it seeps underside underneath the retainer. Uh, I don't want to take that risk because red is very stainy. That's an official word. If 
you feel like you've gotten some air bubbles trapped in your design, just use a little piece of ortho wire to uh, help release those. Uh, and then you can go into putting your final buildup of acrylic onto the retainer before you move on to the other side. Another tip is to be sure and just slightly overfill your inlay design. Uh, that way you have something to grind back to um, to reveal your your stitches your design underneath it um, you don't want to cover the whole retainer because you'll, you'll risk uh, warping the retainer uh, with the fresh acrylic uh, notice I did wax down the retainer with sticky wax so that it, it will reduce the shrinking effects of the new acrylic that's on there uh, but th that was just a tip overfill it just a little bit so you can grind it down uh, to the actual design. So once you remove the retainer off of the model, uh, check it for defects, make sure there wasn't much spillover on the tissue side, and then get you a nice uh, cross-cut acrylic burr uh, and start just grinding on the red acrylic uh, and bringing it down to the level of the white the original thickness of the retainer uh, that you finished it to when you finished the white acrylic and you'll slowly start seeing the stitches appear the the design this is my favorite part uh, but it takes a little bit of effort of just slowly grinding down make sure you're not taking off too much and that you're only taking off the red and not any more white because you don't want to make the white any more thinner than it already was so uh, just use the flat part of the burr and just get to uh, slowly revealing your design. Okay, one final step is to remove any uh, red that happened to get on the inside of the tissue side of the retainer that would prevent the retainer from fitting the model correctly. So once you do that and you make sure the model fits good, you just pumice and polish this like normal and you get a pretty cool looking baseball retainer that you can give to your patient. And uh, I hope you have fun with it and I hope the patient's really going to enjoy it. Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe and uh, keep a lookout for more videos to come. Thanks. Happy bending.